welcome back. So I've got a really fun video for you today. This is going to be part one of a two part lipstick dupes video, which is always really exciting. I love a good dupe. I think you guys do too. Um, there's just been a lot of new goodies coming out in the drugstore recently, a lot of new lip products. So I kind of figured there had to be some dupes in there somewhere and I did find some. I've been swatching up and down my arm like a crazy lady looking for dupes and I found some. So what I've done is I've kind of divided it up. I've got some dupes that are really, really close, and then I've got some that they work as a dupe, but they have slight variances. So I will definitely show you kind of like how they differ. Um, I'm just really picky when it comes to dupes. So I've kind of separated the groups. So each video will have some of each. So I've got a few today that are really, really close, and then I've got some that are, they will work, and especially on your lips, you really can't tell that big of a difference. So yeah. Lots of dupes to talk about, so let's jump in. All right, the first one is what I'm wearing, and it's MAC's Flat Out Fabulous, one of my very favorite lip products. And the dupe is the Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in Matte It Girl, which I really enjoy these two. I do have a review on those if you want to see. Um, I will link it down below in a blog post. I love Flat Out Fabulous. It is a retro matte from MAC, and it's fairly drying, so you have to be okay with a more matte feeling lipstick it's very long wearing and it's just a beautiful color both of these are like just that like purpley pink fuchsia color that I just absolutely love so this one is um, matte flat out fabulous and that one right there is matte it girl so really really close I love both of them this one is $16 and this one is about $2.50 which is awesome next is max heroin and the dupe is one of the Milani matte lipsticks this is in matte glam I remember when Matte Glam first came out and I was swatching it, I was like, oh man, that looks like heroin. And it's really, really close to heroin. Um, I really don't wear these purpley colors very much, but I think that they are a lot of fun. And my thought is, hey, you might as well go with the $5 one because, I mean, unless you wear purples a lot, for me, it's probably, I should have just, you know, gone with the other one, but this one came out the... Milani came out a lot more recently than MAC Heroin. So anyway, there is Max Heroin and there is MAC Glam. So you can see both just really pretty, fun purples. Next is MAC Show Orchid and the dupe is one of the Wet n Wild Silk Finish Lipsticks. This is in 527B Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. <laughs> Not a super exciting name, but hey, it gets the job done, so who cares about the name? Um, Show Orchid is like, I kind of describe it as that like fun 80s sort of a lip color because I don't know, it's got that like duochrome shine to it. It's a hot pink, but it has like that flashing and just that duochrome side to it. But they're both really just creamy looking and shiny. Now in this light, I can see a slight variance. So this one is Max Show Orchid on that side and right next to it is the Wet n Wild um, Fuchsia with Blue Pearl. <laughs> um, this one looks like it maybe has a little bit more purpley blue tones in it, whereas MAC looks a little bit more red, but they are really close, and MAC is like $16, and the Wet n Wild lipstick is like 99 cents or $1.29 or something around a dollar, so huge price difference there. Then I've got one of the Bite Beauty Matte lipsticks. These are the matte cream lip crayon and this is in aubergine and the dupe is one of the rimmel kate lipsticks and this is in number 30. i really like both of these lip products a lot the bite beauty uh well all the bite beauty stuff is so nice but the matte lip creams they're really like a creamy nice matte let me get a bigger swatch a really creamy nice matte um, and they've also got like great ingredients, you know, they've got the resveratrol in it, which is always a nice bonus. And then the Rimmel Kate lipsticks are really nice too. They're very creamy, pretty long wearing too. Again, I can see a slight variance in these in this light, you know, I was watching them in my bedroom and it was a different lighting situation. These are still a dupe, but I can see a little difference that I want to point out. So this one right here is the Aubergine, the Bite Beauty Aubergine, and that one is the Rimmel Kate. So the Rimmel Kate maybe looks like it has a little bit more red in it, and Aubergine looks like it has maybe a tinge more purple in it. But I mean, they're really darn close. I'm just trying to point out any differences that I see. Um, both just creamy and kind of a little bit shiny. Um, now technically they are different in their finishes because 
the Bite Beauty is supposed to be a matte, but you can see it. I mean, it really is more of kind of like a creamy matte, so it's really not so much a matte. It's almost more like a cream matte finish or something. So the finishes end up looking pretty close. And you guys know how much I love the Kat Von D Study Kiss lipsticks. They are just some of my very favorites. So I had to try to find a dupe for one of these. These are kind of hard to dupe, but I did find one. This is Underage Red, a beautiful kind of retro red. And the dupe is one of the Maybelline Creamy Mattes. This is in Siren and Scarlet, which again, I love both of these. Um, not just for the color, but the formula. I love the formula of both of these. So the um, Kat Von D ones, they're a really pretty matte. They can be kind of drying, but they're super long wearing. And they have just like, she has so many fun colors in the line. So I love that about it too. And the packaging is really fun. Um, but the Maybelline Creamy Mattes are really nice too. They're really creamy like the name says, but they're really long wearing and they're just good. So these are both that kind of like retro looking red. So this one is the underage red and this one on this side is the Maybelline Creamy Matte. So you can see they're really close. I really don't see much of a difference in those at all. Um, as far as formula, the Maybelline ones are a little bit creamier and probably a little bit more comfortable. Um, but I would say the Kat Von D are a little bit more long wearing. And obviously the price is a huge difference. Kat Von D is around $20, I think. And Maybelline is usually around five or 550 or something. And then the last really close dupe that I have is Max Myth. And the dupe is one of the NYC Expert Last Lip Colors. This is in Smooth Beige. So d this definitely has like a drugstore packaging look to it, but you know, it's like $2. So Max Myth is a very light, kind of hard to pull off um, nude lipstick. So I definitely pair it with um, a lip liner and so is the NYC. It's, it's a little bit hard to pull off too. But with a lip liner, I love them both. Okay, so they're gonna be hard to see on my skin, but this one right here is MAC, and on this side is the NYC. NYC looks like it maybe has a little bit more orangey yellow tones to it, and MAC Smith looks like it maybe has a little bit more pink in it, but they are both that kind of really light um, very opaque, creamy, nude lipstick. So both really gorgeous, but again, I would wear these with a lip liner, just kind of like blend it into them to make them a little bit more wearable. But there is a great option for you. If you've been afraid to try Myth, try out Smooth Beige first, and it can kind of be a little segue into it because it's only $2. And now I have three more that I think could definitely work as dupes. Um, there are slight variances between them, more so I think than the other ones. Um, but I think on the lips, you could definitely use them as a dupe. So first is Max Impassioned. I love Impassioned. It's just a really pretty, bright color. So pretty for the springtime. And the dupe is one of the NYC Expert Last Lip Colors, again, in Pure Coral. These are really just fun. They have kind of like a yucky, fakey, sweet smell, which I'm not a huge fan of. Whereas the MAC lipsticks, I love the scent of those, that yummy vanilla. But you know, huge price difference and it's a fun way of trying good colors, you know, and fun colors. I was just noticing as I was watching that, wow, these look a lot closer in this light. That's so funny. Okay, this one is Impassioned and this one is the Pure Coral from NYC. Those look really close. <laughs> um, hmm. I wrote down that MAC Impassioned is a little bit pinker and I can maybe see that, but that's really close. I should have probably included that in these other ones. So that's that's really, really close. And then lastly, I've got MAC's Kinda Sexy. And the semi-close dupe is the Jordana Modern Matte Lipstick in Matte Bare. Another one of these. So Kinda Sexy is, it's a neutral kind of nude color, but it's got quite a bit of um, kind of peachy tones and brown tones in it, which makes it just a really pretty color. And Matte Bare is the same way. Um, let's see what I wrote down. So Max kind of sexy is lighter, whereas Matte Bear looks a little bit, it's darker. It's definitely darker. But again, they would work for each other, I think. If you're wanting something in that family, I think that that could definitely work there. Both gorgeous colors. I really enjoy them both. And kind of sexy is a matte, and so is the Jordana. So the finish is the same. 
but you can just see they are different, but still pretty close. I've said different and dupe a lot in this video. <laughs> and then Max Vegas Volt is pretty close to the Wet n Wild Silk Finish Lipstick in 515D What's Up Doc. There's just a little bit of a difference between these. Um, Vegas Volt is a really pretty, let's see, what what is this? Amplified. It's a really pretty um, orange color. And What's Up Doc is also a nice kind of creamy color, but this one is brighter, whereas um, Vegas Volt is more of a subtle, um, almost more wearable orange. So this one right here is Vegas Volt, and that one is the um, Wet n Wild What's Up Doc. So they could definitely work, you know, uh, switching out for each other. But if you're wanting more subtle, then I would go with the MAC one. But, you know, if you want to try an orange, you could go with a 99 cent lipstick and give it a shot. All right, guys, so that was part one of my lipstick dupes video. Um, I do have two more dupes videos. They're kind of older, but I will link those down below. If you just like those kind of videos, you can check those out, too. Um, let me know any of your favorite dupes down below. Watch for part two. That will be coming up soon. Ask me any questions that you have down below. I'm happy to answer those. Please subscribe to my channel if you're not already, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye!